Join me today as I take you through how I paint flesh on my 172 scale and 20mm miniatures. This flesh guide is super simple and only uses three paints. The techniques highlighted today is something that any stage can follow to achieve a really nice flesh finish on your miniatures. Be sure to comment below how you found this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna be looking at how I go about painting 172 or 20 mm faces. Now it's a question that gets asked a lot on my social media pages and when I've painted other videos. You know, painting flesh is difficult. This video is gonna focus on Caucasian skin tones. Uh, I will do a video in the future on different skin tones for all the different continents, etc. But today we're going to be focusing on Caucasian and trying to get something that looks good. Obviously trying to get realistic skin tones is something that can be quite tricky, especially at this scale. So hopefully with this video, I'll try and explain how I do it. I sort of wing it from time to time. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get some good results and you guys will be able to take away something from it. Now, if you got your own method, I'd love to know in the comments below, so don't hesitate to let me know. Today, we'll also be looking at AK Interactive Paints as well as Vallejo Paints. So let's get started. So the base colors I use are light flesh from AK or flat flesh from Vallejo. So you can really decide if you're a Vallejo person, go with the Vallejo option. If you're uh, an AK person, go with the AK option. But this initial base coat is just putting down our base coat. So we're just putting it down. I like to paint mine uh, once the model's finished. Some people like to paint it at the very start. It really doesn't matter. There's less room for error when you do it this way, but it's really up to you. So now we've got to find a, a wash and I use Vallejo Flesh Wash. I find it's a very good wash for what I want. It's the right color um, and it works really nicely. If you find that it's a bit too dark, if maybe you haven't shook the bottle properly or, or whatever, uh, then just give it a touch of water. Uh, just make sure that um, you're spreading it around nicely. You don't want it to pull. As you saw at the very beginning of this shot or this segment, you could see that the uh, wash had pulled around his eye. Now, if you get, if you let that dry pulled, it's just gonna be bright red, like you've painted it on. So make sure you maneuver it around and you use a relatively decent brush for this stage. Obviously, if you've painted your model like I have, you don't really wanna make too many mistakes. Um, so I'm just manipulating it around, make sure I'm getting all the creases in the eye sockets and fingers, etc. So we want to go with our first layer. So we've got the wash that's dried. Acrylic washes will dry within half an hour to an hour. So once it's dry, we really want to go over with our initial base color. So if you use light flesh or flat flesh from AK or Vallejo, whichever one you decided to go with, basically you want to paint the entire face again, but leaving certain sections um, with that original f uh, flesh wash that we put down. So the darkened base color now. So we're reapplying the same base color, but we're leaving some of that darker color to act as shadow. So the eye sockets around the edge of the nose, the lips, underneath the chin, around the ear, uh, the, between the fingers, the edge of where your, the skin meets the sleeves. And the best way I can describe it is using this picture. But stand by. Yes. I had to make this picture. So it's frightening as anything, but hopefully you can get an understanding. So obviously the one in more of the dark red color is showing where the wash, I'm wanting to keep the wash. Everything else I'm going back over with that initial color. So I'm leaving the lips, I'm leaving the eye socket, I'm leaving where the brows might be, around the outer edges of the face, the inner ear, underneath the chin. So yeah, try not to use this picture too often because it is absolutely frightening, but hopefully this picture will explain what I'm trying to verbally explain, but very poorly. Now, this video is gonna be lengthy purely because I'm not gonna really speed it up too much. I mean, this is sped up by like 1.2 speed or something like that. Um, 
but I want to make sure that you're seeing the entire process because painting flesh is tricky. It is. I found it really tricky. I'm still not 100% happy with how I do it, but I think it works really well for this scale. So I'm just going to keep it as is for now. Um, and I want to make it basic. So we're only going to use like free paints to get this achieved without going too crazy. The reason I selected this particular model is because he's got his leg on show. He's also got his hands on show. So I'm going to paint everything in flesh and I'm also going to leave it in there unedited uh, for the most part at least anyway so you can see the process for yourself and you can stop it and play it at whatever point you want just to see how I do it um, and, and just get an idea of the process in which it takes. Now excluding drying times how long does it take for me to paint flesh? It, probably per model about 20 minutes excluding drying times i was a bit slower here because the camera's in the bloody way um so it does make it a bit tricky to work around the tripod and, and get everything looking right um and obviously moving my head to an angle to avoid the camera so it's a little bit longer this process but overall it probably takes about 20 minutes 20 minutes might be too long for your average painter that just wants to get something on the tabletop and go and game because they're more of a gamer than a painter that's fair enough um you might decide that you want to miss some of the highlights that this initial layer is good enough which it is it, it, it looks fine um but we can really jazz it up which we're going to see in a little while we just want to make sure that you're getting the toes so with the hand and the foot uh, especially the foot, you can see that there's uh, a bit of the ankle bone that you can get there, you're getting in between the toes. Um, and if there's a knee that you can see, you can hit the knee and the rest of the leg, but leave some of that red, darker base color between where the knee and the rest of the leg meet, the shin bone and all of that, just to give it a bit more definition. Now, I've not got a fancy picture for that, unfortunately for you. <laughs> So now I want to go with our second layer. So you want to use whatever your base color was, and then you want to grab the equivalent um, highlight color. And you want to go at about a one-to-one -one ratio here. You can go a little bit less of the highlight color if you want, and I'll go explain what they are now. So the highlight colors that I used, one was highlight flesh if I'm using AK, and the other one was light flesh if I'm using black. If I'm strictly speaking, um, sticking to the same paints anyway. So once we've got that ratio of one-to-one, -one, I'm starting to pick out little bits now. So I'm just getting on the top of the, the eyebrows there, across the top there. When I say little bits, I'm being quite modest. Um, there's a bit more, as you can see in this picture here. So I'm getting the very top of the head. I'm also painting just underneath the eye line and down towards the lips, but not all the way. Painting the very top of the top lip, just above that, the chin, the outer edges of the cheeks, the tips of the ears, and then I'm painting the very bottom of his neck where it meets his shirt. And it should look something similar to that diagram. Now, if you really wanna to go to the next step, which I did uh, in some of my videos, but I haven't with this one, I don't believe, you can give it another layer of the same ratio, uh, sorry, of the same paints, but at a better ratio, so more of the highlight color. And if you can tell in this picture, you wanna just focus a little in the exact same areas, but just a little bit less. Uh, but you don't need to do that with this. This is just something quick and easy that's just going to look great on the tabletop. Same process with the hands and the foot. With the hands, you can start um, painting more of the veins. So where are the veins or whatever they are with our hands uh, on the very top of our hands? Also the fingers. You can leave little breaks where the fingers are bent perhaps um, and just sort of build it up slowly. The really good painters of flesh will use the exact same colors and just keep building it up until that very final bright whiter color. Uh, obviously with this scale, you don't need to go crazy. You don't need to do like six layers of the same bloody colors. You'll just be here, you know, for ages. But if you do a couple of subtle changes and you focus on the areas that are sticking out to so the knee, you can see the ankle there, the tops of the foot, the toes, if you start picking those out with your fine brush, you're gonna make it look fantastic. If obviously like this guy, you're not gonna be painting the bottom of his foot because you're just not gonna see it. So finally, we wanna go with our highlight color. So whatever you decided to use, whether it was Vallejo or AK Interactive, so highlight flesh or light flesh, 
you want to now just go back over the areas that you went, but with a reduced amount. So again, we're focused on the top of the head, but just a very couple of little lines, the eyebrows, just underneath the eye and the nose, but just like literally a little tiny line or a couple of little strands there on the very outer edges of his cheeks, the very tip of his chin, the very tips of his ears, and the very tip of the neck where it meets his shirt line. You can see that this part takes no time at all because you're just adding in a little line here and there because this is a, this is more white, so it's gonna stand out, it's really gonna stand out. Um, this is why people build it up because you don't wanna just go from your original base color to your highlight because it just looks crazy. It's really bright and really dark. You build it up till you get to this, this part here. Now I'm just picking out those veins on the hand, the very tips of his fingers, but I'm not putting on too much little lines here and there, just subtly putting on this bit of paint. You can see just how subtle that was, just little dots here and there, a couple of lines, a little line on top of his knee, uh, put a couple of little lines on his feet, or his toes I should say, on the bone that's sticking out there, and bosh, you know, that's it, it's done. It can be that simple and it can look so good um, with very little effort, just making sure you get the right colors and the right process then it can look something a bit like that now if you feel like you've made a few mistakes you can go back over with your base color and just follow the process again or hit it with a little bit more of the flat flesh but i'm chuffed with this guy he looks good he's highlighted in the right areas so when you look at him you can know okay there's a nose there with his nostrils there's a chin there's a cheek a couple of cheeks hopefully uh fingers you know he's got four fingers and a thumb brilliant he's got his toes there he's got a kneecap fantastic now if you like the models that you see in this picture they've been slightly altered uh, with some of them for a future video but you can find them at AB figures you go down to the Union Kingdom or Britain British range uh, and you can go ahead and purchase whatever you want from there fantastic set of models I highly rate them they're my favorite 20 mil models out there but other than that that is it that is how I paint skin tones it's really that simple I probably could have just explained it in like a 10 second post or a, a little video. But honestly, guys, I just wanted to show you from start to finish how I paint skin because it is confusing AF. I really do get confused with it. It took me ages to wrap the concepts of where do I paint? Where do I put my highlight colors? It looks silly, it doesn't look great. If you see some of my earlier work, um, if you've been with me for a while now, you'll see that I still was a bit like, uh, it doesn't look right. Some of my bolt action stuff wasn't 100% great. And I followed the same sort of technique with that. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Um, a huge thank you goes out to my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as well as my channel members. If you want to join, you'll get all my painting guides and some other cool perks as well as Patreon and channel member exclusive videos that are coming out shortly. Um, so yeah, for a little as a dollar, so it really does help the channel grow too. But other than that, guys, I will leave it, I promise. <laughs> um, I'll see you at the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.